Overseen and conceived by the Russo brothers of Marvel's frame, the extension films are an example of a dwindling breed, the big budget super violent adventure. Whether the main character is named John Rambo, John Bourne, or John Wick is a variant on a type, the profile killer who would prefer not to kill anymore but keeps getting pushed back into it. He has a tragic past and is grieving over it, and he is played by a guy who is so ferocious in violent scenes that you would believe that he could take 100 blows to the head, face and torso plus a gunshot, a knife wound and a granite conceals and keep going. Critic Robert Brain Taylor called this movie part of the set action hero canon. Chris Hemsworth is its most notable new member. He plays Taylor Rake, a young boy's idea for an action hero name, but Hemsworth makes him seem almost like a real person. He's played a scheming male bimbo, a depressed mercenary, a 19th century ruler, a cult leader, and the mighty tour, all convenience. He's got a bit of the young scan country, self aware swagger as well, but there's also a brute sadness to him, and that's what the extension films dig out. Taylor used to be a special forces soldier with the Australian army. He chose to go to Afghanistan for yet another tour of duty while his son was battling an incredible disease and was not present when the boy died. Then his marriage fell apart and he became a mercenary. Guilt over husbandly and parental failure is as much of a driving force in the extension franchise as enemy Sia in the Bourne films and mourning in the John Wick series. Taylor adventure are redemption stories set in action movie purgatories filled with shadow versions of the hero, defective fathers who mistreat, neglect, or work their children and see them as extensions of their ego or brand. Taylor's main enemies are dark parents who could be stand-ins for Taylor's own masochistic feelings about how badly he's failed his family. The first extension showed Taylor rescuing the kidnapped son of an Indian drug lord who was being held in Dhaka, Bangladesh. The kid was a pawn in a pissing match between rich bulls with private armies. In accepting the mission, Taylor Short offered himself up a karmic punching bag, absorbing punishment for his past mistake in an urban hellhole purgatory. While serving as a quest father figure to the boy he was protecting, in this one an unnamed man shows up at the cave-in in the woods where Taylor is recovering from the previous mission and delivers a message from his ex-wife who as it turns out in Georgian. Her sister and her children are being held in a Georgian prison by her drug dealer husband David who had the cloth to get them and soul sent with him, wreck his heart to pass the family out of prison and take them away of David and his brother Zurab, who's even more a psycho. Complications ensue. All you need to know is that the films is their long action sequence with a bit of character development sprinkled in. The first in an uninterrupted 21 minute action sequence following Taylor and the family through a wild prison break and onto a train that's chased across the tundra by helicopters filled with armed thugs in body armor. Any thugs who are not killed in midair drop onto the train and fight Taylor and his two allies. With guns fist knives and whatever objects are lying around, director Sam Hargrave, a former stunt coordinator who made his directional debut on the first extraction, takes the digitality stage together super long, 
owner that was introduced to viewers in meat out films like Steven Spielberg's. Still, you might appreciate the serious attempts to anchor military adjusted shoot amp up adventure in something like reality and give all of its major character situations to play that are a step above the standard action film tropes, where most contemporary Hollywood movies are aimed at the child in every grown-up, the extraction films speak to the potential grown-up in every kid. Although its rated or its ideal audience might be 12, the scenes between parents and their disappointed offspring capture that feeling you have when you are young and suddenly realize that the adults you once revered are human beings who can fail you and are video give a like if you like the video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel to get more new videos